That's See, your audio's recording, video's recording, everything's good, eh? Ricardo, why are you looking like Casey Neistand? I don't even know, but all I got to say is, yo, <laughs> Eric oh Bradley. You know that, right? <laughs> all I got to say is, Eric Bradley is out here. Grand Ben. Mr. Grand Ben. Yo, yo, thank yo. You guys. It's crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, thank I'll, you for coming out here. I appreciate, like, the idea and everything doing in my store. I really appreciate that, for real. No, not only that, bro. Like, we appreciate it. We, we were driving down. We, we went through Park Hill. We went to Grand Ben. <laughs> and then we saw, we, we honestly saw, like, Mint. Mint Apparel. Yeah. And we looked at him. We're like, holy shit, yo. This is Eric's, yo. I'm pretty sure Der or David stopped. And he's like, is that Mint Apparel? <laughs> is that where Eric? I'm like, yeah, oh, we got to go here. <laughs> yeah. But no, so, bro. Like, like, let's get into it, bro. Like, in the sense of, like, yo, like, have you always been an entrepreneur? Yeah, and like, and like, every aspect, kind of like everything that I've done with my life and jobs that I've had, I've always wanted to end in being my own boss in that sense or trying to have my own company at the end of everything that I've always done. So um, this fell into the palm of my hands and I'm grateful for it. But everything that I've always done, I've never wanted to have the regular nine to five. I've never wanted to like just kind of be like a slave where does that come thing. from though bro and i mean no disrespect to anyone no of course but i just have always had that kind of mindset towards me even too you're a tradesman for a long time right see that's where it started i, know. I promise you that's where it started know, okay bro. so i started with bricklaying <laughs> that's what i'm doing that's what that's what I'm blood in me bro oh, yeah. yeah i'm a bricklayer of blood yeah. the yeah. blood in me is a bricklayer to yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly bro. So, no pressure for nada, yo. I, swear, bro, <laughs> like, I love that. I didn't know what to do. So, bro, what Portuguese people do, they lay bricks. Yeah. Okay. So I started doing that. I got into a company. I did co-op at RMC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you guys were. Yeah, yeah. We're I did that shit. So we held it down. Bro, I had a shitty boss. I rode through it. All these guys are telling me, like, the boss was never there. The employees are telling me, yo, get out of this. They're like, yo, you don't want this trade. You don't want to do this for the rest what, of your what life. What trade were you doing at this point? Electric bricklaying. Right? Bricklaying. Bricklaying. Okay. He was being a, a so, masonry. Yeah. yeah bricklaying, bro. I, I was a laborer. Like, you know, I was being... Mixing the mortar, putting the brick on a scaffold, setting up the scaffold. You, all you that. know what time it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm there, bro. Yeah. And these guys work during the winter, too. Oh, yeah. So, I have to put the tarps up. I have to put the salamanders, like the... The heaters. The heaters. To heat up the sand, to heat up the, the tented area at the scaffolding. I had to do all that stuff, bro, and it was just like, these. if these guys, they've been working for 10 plus years, 20 mm. plus years, some of them, they're telling me, dip, they're telling me, yo, don't do this. Kind of makes me rethink my own career, you know what I mean? And the end goal is because I know how much uh, a brick is, you know what I mean? Mm. You get paid a dollar a brick. That's what everybody says. But sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. But you lay a brick, it takes five seconds, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So the end goal was to have my own masonry business, but obviously things changed and uh, I had different change of plans and it didn't work out like that. But like uh, like going back to it, it's, it's always been that end goal yeah. is to have something of my own, to have something when that I created. When did you fall in love with like, like shirts and fashion yeah, and, like, and like all that, bro? To be honest, man, uh, I'll give that to, to one of my guys at RMC. He always used to tell me, he goes, yo, you're always dressing nice. Jeez. And me, like, not pretentious at all. I think I'm not just, you know, I just talk Speak on your whatever. Shit, Speak your shit. Yo, you, you always look nice. <laughs> I'm like, shit, do I? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? And he's like, yo, you should get into fashion. You know, you should do something of that sort. Because this is like when we're in like grade 11, grade 12. Yeah. People are trying to figure out what they're going to do. And this is before I went into masonry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm still trying to figure out what I do, but I, like, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah. So I transitioned to like my heritage or something. Yeah. I want to get into masonry. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a hard worker. I like working hard, but masonry, masonry is too much. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody who <laughs> works masonry, they'll work. tell you it's too much. Yeah. But regardless, he's telling me that. So it's in the back of my head. And one thing led to another. You know, some of my boys came to me with opportunities. I expanded the opportunities. I was still working construction, okay? So I'm still working construction. I'm out of bricklaying at this point. One of my close boys, Jake. Yeah. I'm working for Sneaky. him. 
Snakey, bro. Snakey. Love Snakey. Love Love him, guy. bro. Literally the best guy in the Beauty. world. God bless him and his family. Mm. But anyways, he's like, we have a job in Grand Bend. Okay? So we're out in Grand Bend. The rooftop, right? No, no, no. Here, bro. I'm working right here. This spot right here. Bro, I'm working where we're speaking right now. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Elaborate. Let me hear this. Okay. So we're working here. Um, this used to be a um, a candy spot. Okay. So it used to be like a... The taffy like, one? Exactly. Oh, okay. So before it was a poutine spot, they had like a different ethnicity poutines and whatnot. Kay. I turned into a candy spot. It didn't do too well. And then my landlord right now, Kamal, God bless his soul. He's a very nice guy. He's always looking for, like, people to give the opportunity for. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's always looking to uh, to help someone out that doesn't have the means necessary. Okay, so whatever, me and Jake are working here. Okay, we are literally tearing. There's four units right now, okay? This whole thing was blown out. There was mm -hmm. no walls or anything. It was just one big place. So we're building four units in it, okay? Kamal comes in one day, and we're just talking, talking. I'm working. He's talking to Jake, and he goes, yeah, I want a food spot. I want a clothing spot. I want a dessert spot, and I want a food spot, okay? So Jake goes, my boy. And, like, in the meantime, on the yeah. side, I started this Instagram, okay, with two of my friends. Okay. I started this Instagram that did custom clothing, you can do whatever you want. And what was the name? Minties. We started Minties. Okay, and that's Jeez. what still people to this day they call we it Minties. Them. Yeah. Some some people they'll come up to me, yo, yo Minties. They yo, don't yo, even know my name. Yo, yo, yo. People how they how, don't even know my name. They say Minties. How do you come up with that name though? Because it hits. What it minutes? It's, it, yeah. it went through a long process, but me and my me and one of the one of the partners at the start, it just clicked. Like it was just like, yo, like. This is something that people are going to remember. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And me and him decided on that. And it was just, and you know what's funny? You know, you go through, I'm sure you guys went through with the, with Nuvida and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You need to come up with something that is like, like, uh, rememberable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mint Teas was like, literally, I swear in my life, like the second thing that we came up with. And we came up with like a hundred things after that. And then we all brought it back to Mint Teas. Okay. So it started off with that. And, uh, yeah back to back to working here um he said i started a, an instagram business blah 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 he said let me see it i showed him what we do and then right on the spot he goes do you want it i'm like Damn. Yes. so I'm wait based off your instagram they knew all of a sudden you guys were serious they knew you guys were not like fucking around no 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 because my boy he's good at instagram mm. okay yeah. so yeah. he knows what he's doing yeah. he knows what time it is he knows how to like promote and the sort of like pictures and and uh, yeah. and influence that way. Yeah. So he was like, I like this. It's a really cool idea. It would be really cool for the beach. He's like, do you want it? And I'm just like, yeah. And how old are you when you're saying yes? Um, 23. So 22, 23. Chill. Like, how are you yeah, taking I, that risk? How are you taking that risk, though? How, how do you not? Exactly. If something falls into the palm of your hands like that, and you have an opportunity to have God bless. I thank God every single day that it's it's a good location. It's good mm -hmm. like uh, distance to the strip, to the beach. I have to take it. I'm never gonna come to Grand Bend again and walk past this store and think what if, what if, what if, what if. I could never. I would never come to Grand Bend in my life again. Yeah. yeah. So I have to take that opportunity regardless if it's if it's a loss, if it's a W. Was it tough though? Like that transition? Like 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 were you going through yeah, it? No, no, no. I was going through <laughs> yeah, it. Bro, I'm still going through it to this day. It's not easy right? running a business. Right. And everybody needs to know that. It's not easy. It's not all uh it's not all like like rainbows and flowers. Even know? too, you have employees, which is like That's even harder to endure. Exactly. Right? Yes. My employees are listening. God bless you. Yeah. I love my employees this year. Yeah. Yeah. They're amazing. I I actually genuinely truly think that they care about my business mm -hmm. and they want me to succeed as well as them make money. And I base that off of their pay as well. I mm -hmm. do pay them very well. Yeah. Okay. I don't chance them. Yeah. I do not pay them minimum wage. I heard the payroll. He does pay well. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. So I'm like, like him no, I'm like, I him up. No, like you do. I appreciate my employees it. because they're the ones that hold it down when I, when I need to do 
back end stuff mm. or I need time for myself to relax because I've already worked. I've already, like, you set every it up. single day the first year I'm there, right? When I first got the place and I actually decided I wanted to, I was here driving back and forth London to Grand Bend every single day. How was that? I really want to talk London, about that. London, Grand Bend every single day, bro. What did I'm, that do to you? How did you get through that, bro? It ruined a lot of stuff in my life, to be honest with you. But relationships? Especially relationships. God bless everybody that is, like, you know, that has uh, sure broken time with up you. in the back. Sure time with Thank you. you. It's the best way to put Thank it. you. Yeah, but it, it's hard, man. You know, I, I don't get to spend time with my, my family, you know, my loved ones, my dog. I didn't get to spend time with him at all, which is horrible. Because I love my son so much. (laughs) My son, Nav, I love him so much. But it's hard, man. And and you have to come here. I have to open at 11 every single day. And then God knows what time I close. I drive an hour back. I go to sleep. I wake up. I drive an hour back. I do the same thing every single day for the summer. Regardless if you think it's light or not, not. please do it and come talk to me. Please. Question, I want to ask. What does that do to you as a person? Do you think it, like, removes you... From the idea of like who you are, it depends who you are. Mm. It depends what type of mentality you have. It type depends what type of person you are. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's it's different for everybody. You know so what I mean? So you? What so I guess you? like, what's your why, bro? Like, 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 like me personally, like, I feel like I sacrifice a lot of time in my life for the better of the future. You know what I mean? And, and my why is very clear. You know, like. So I wonder, like, what's your why, bro? Because, like, it's not easy. Like you said, when you're in business, bro, you got to sacrifice family time. You got to sacrifice time with, like, your friends. Like, you're in your, you're in your own grind. So what's your why, bro? I'd say my why is, is, very, is very different from others, okay? Um, my family is very small. Very, very small. And no knock on anybody but my family there's they do their own thing Mm. you know there's nothing special going on i have a very small family uh people aren't getting married people aren't having kids nothing of that sort okay so what i think in my head is like where is it going to end Mm. will it end Mm. do you think when is it going to end it's not going to end because i'm here hey No, no 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 i'm not going to let it end bro I'm not going to let it end, I, and like, no matter what happens, I'm going to carry on my name for God knows how long because I'm going to have my kids. God bless, I'm able to have kids. Mm. I pray to God. Yeah. I'm able to have a f- happy family, a happy wife, you know, and I'm able to carry it on for for multiple, multiple generations, millenniums, who knows? Yeah. I'm the one that starts it, though. Yeah. Mm. You know? Where does that family aspect come from, though? My mother. Mm. Really? Uh, Explain that though. Bro. Let me hear God a little bit. Bless my ex- mother. Explain that. Talk about mom. My Let's mother. Why is she why are you like <laughs> stop you're gonna make me cry. I know, <laughs> we talked about this earlier, but like I know like bro. tell them, like I'm not gonna lie, bro, I said to you earlier, you're such a beautiful person because I'm not gonna lie, I don't think any of our friends that we know can say a bad thing about you. Thank you, but I appreciate that. And, but it all goes back to my mother. You know what I mean? Like the woman who raised me the man I am today is because of my mother. You know what I mean? Nobody else can tell me otherwise. Nobody else has taught me the lessons or the values that I have that I bring to other people, that I bring to this business, that I, I talk to on a daily basis. No one helps other than my mother. Yeah. And she's and always supported you. No one. I would tell that to everybody. Sorry, mm. my apologies. No. Yeah. Talk your shit. I told that's, you earlier. That's, talk your that's fucking shit. My mother. She's the best woman in the world. Yeah. Um, and she's always supported you throughout all your ventures. Everything, bro. Uh, <laughs> Look at this guy's smile. A, to a certain extent. To a <laughs> yeah, certain yeah. extent. Okay, when I'm a kid, you know, she always wants me, especially Portuguese family. My aunt, she's, if you guys know any Portuguese people, the aunt, they're the loud. The Portuguese? They're rowdy. They're loud. Portuguese are rowdy, bro. Yeah, we love the Portuguese. When Portugues. I was a kid, I thought my family was always mad at each other because nah, <laughs> nah, they're nah, always screaming loud. at yeah, each other. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. at family events, when I go see my avo, everything they're always screaming at each other like, <laughs> and angry faces too. <laughs> but it's not angry. There's no, no anger. They're talking about something regular. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, yo, why happy do you, with each other? Why do you look ugly? Like, why did you wear that why? shirt? 
Yeah, yeah like yeah. It, it, might, it could be anything, anything in the world. They're like, why do you look so good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like you don't eat. Be happy, it you don't eat. Like, yeah, ah, you don't eat. Yeah, no, 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 no. Always says eat, I eat, swear. eat. But anyways, like, uh, like, my apologies. We're we're going on about family. Yeah. yeah. So like, where where to? No, just just basically like, like like how important was that like guidance? I feel like you have so much like value and so much morals like ingrained in you, bro. Because like it's not regular, honestly. Like it's not regular to like, like the way you're talking is like you have some deep shit, bro. Like where does that come from? It's, you it's, said your mother. That's what you were talking. Yeah, about. it comes back to my mother and and just just with my family. My family is so loving and caring. Everything about them is is always. Do you feel like you like because you were born like in Canada and with this sort of environment, you you can do a lot more? Because I'm like I'm talking my own experience. My dad was born in El Salvador. He was supposed mm-hmm. to be a doctor. He immigrated here. He's a truck driver now. So we know how it is that immigrants like you're not really like getting the value for your qualifications, right? Yeah. So now I'm like, yo, if my dad was born in Canada, he, he would fucking like own a lot of shit. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so do you feel that sort of like I do that revenge that. or that sort of armor, like you know? Yeah, I do. I, like it's like uh, the sort of respect that like they bring on to you know what I mean? They do it for you. Yeah. They don't move here for no one else. No. Nah. You know what I mean? They move here to build a family and to have a good life, a good life. Yeah. With with the uh, I think temple. it's crazy <laughs> too. Like, <laughs> if we look at it, they come here for us to have an amazing life, and like, I think it still takes a little bit for us to realize the whole yeah. idea of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's like I'm not gonna lie. I can say I'm pretty. St- I'm still selfish, but like the way they break our their backs to like give us everything, literally everything. Like as a little kid, what didn't you have? Is a good question. What didn't I have? Yeah. Um, that's a tough fucking question, buddy. Not that's holy shit. Shit. Not even, not even uh, this. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna I lie. I can't even fucking answer that. Should be nothing at the end of it. <laughs> and like, not no, even, not right. even, not, not everyone's right. gonna no, be able right. to say that. No, but what right. I can say is like, my mom didn't give me. I had everything. Bro. Exactly yeah. right. Like, my mom didn't I give me anything everything. to worry about. I had everything, and and by everything I mean, uh, like, and anything necessary. Mm. Yeah. And my mom, don't get me wrong, she spoiled me as much as I could. But that's my mom, yeah. you know what I mean? As a single mom and everything that she wanted to do for me for, like, let's say Christmas and birthdays. and everything. She did what she could, but I'm a kid. I don't know what's what's good or bad or enough or too less. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my mom gave me everything I've ever needed in my life. And once again, like, like I am the man I am today. Everything that I have in my life is because of my mother. Yeah. And I will relay that on to anyone. And nobody else can tell me otherwise. Facts. And it's the same with my brother, too. The way my brother is, hey. God bless him. JB, John Bradley. Yo, John Bradley is a real one, That's my bro. Guy. Boy. Those guys are your age. Yo, right. How important has he been in your life, bro? He's been very important in my life um, as far as being a big brother. Yeah. Mm. Um, but, but me and him are very, very opposite. Yeah. Me and him are polar opposites. He is uh, he is not like me at all in a lot yeah. of aspects, but it's very weird as to when we're together, which honestly, we unfortunately, we don't see each other a lot. But when we do, we still connect and we're able to talk yeah, about shit. But that's brother. just brother with blood. Yeah. You know? yeah, exactly. blood. Yeah, we we find something to talk about. We even to find ask. something yeah, 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 yeah. I want to ask, do you think like between you two, even though you don't have a common thing, but you guys still strive to chill? Like there's something that you got that brings you two to get like brings you two together? To be honest, no. Damn. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. not at all. You know it's funny and John, I love you. You're my brother. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I promise you, last week was my brother's first time he came to my store. Wow. Damn. Yeah. And How you know, it's funny. He came to my store. He, he kept telling me, hey, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been two years, but come. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the smoke's coming out. <laughs> no, yeah. We trip each other. He's my yeah. bro. You yeah, know, yeah, exactly. we used to scratch. He's your love, but yeah, 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 yeah. like, like any brother, like you of and your course, brother. Yeah, you know, course, like you and your brother. You, get- you know what I mean? Like anything, okay? That's brothers when you guys are little kids. But, you know, he came to my store the first time. I start explaining everything that I do. I show him my store, everything. He goes, he goes, yeah, cool. <laughs> like, that's pretty much all though. he said. He goes, cool. I like it. What? 
<laughs> cool, I like it. That's it. Yeah, but, cool. but that's like it. You and you guys know John. I know. That's yeah. how he talk. Oh yeah. Cool. I like it. When John says and then cool, he just I like walk, it. So I'm like yeah. over here showing him the t shirts and everything. Did it hurt you? No, not it, bro. That's my brother. I no, know but how yeah. he is. But when John says you know cool, I, mean? I like it. It's fucking good. It's yeah. an accepted, it you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, straight up, straight up. That's that's how he is, you yeah. know what I mean? And I've known that since we were little kids. Obviously yeah. he's not he's not like the the outgoing type. Yeah. He's not like the extravagant type. He just he just does what he does, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um but he leaves. <laughs> he leaves <laughs> with his bunch of friends. I'm just chilling inside my store. Yeah. But then look at my phone. John left a five star review. Yes. It says nothing. No, no, it says nothing. He just went on Google, clicked five stars, <laughs> called it a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, fuck this guy. That's he has all support you need for what it was. Of course, bro. Yeah. I appreciate it. And uh, some of my family, after I went to like a like a family event, we went to go eat dinner and everything. Um, some of my family, they live in Goddard. They have to like almost pass by Grand Bend. Yeah. They stopped in. And, and they said what up they they Yo, kinda got how, to how tough was it for you to like kind of be that like person like working outside of the of the regular nine to f- to four you know what i mean eight to four like because you're an entrepreneur at heart mm-hmm. you know what i mean like was it tough in the family like were people looking at you like yo what is he doing like he's not really like yeah like yeah honestly it was kind of hard yeah especially with um that's what i was talking about before my aunt she's mm-hmm. very loud she always thinks she's screaming at people. She's always she's that that person in the family that she's like, go to school, get a job, and work. Yeah. Go to school, get a job, work, get a diploma, and work. She's like always pounded that on. And she's she was the one. I I'm putting money in your your uh, your school fund. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Always exactly. like that. And she always God bless her. She's taking care of my avo, my grandma, yeah. her whole life. Okay, she's she's been there for her the whole time, but she's always been that school, 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 and there's never been not much in my family where it's like entrepreneurship. So that was a shock for a lot of people. My uh, aunt, who I live with as well, uh, used to live with, yeah. lived with me since I was a kid. Um, she was always supportive of me. Yeah, She's the biggest gangster. I love her. <laughs> Rosie, shout out Rosie. Yeah. I love you. Do you yeah. think she saw something different in you? She did always. She still tells me to this day. She always, always, and you know what type of family member she is. I know you what? guys probably have one too. She's the one that cries a lot. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Over oh, yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. I literally one time, I've done it multiple times, but I'll like text her like I'm coming home. Yeah. I'll be like, do you want coffee? Do you want food? Not come home, she'd be like, You're so nice. And yeah, start crying yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah. But uh yeah, like like she was always supportive of me. As far as my mother went, um, she was always like kinda on the go to school, yeah. get a job. Um, I always told her, like, I don't want to do that. Like I want to start my own thing. I will go to school, I will go get a job. And that's what my plan was. You finished it, right? Like I went to Ottawa. I hated my life. What I, were you doing in Ottawa? I was doing heritage and traditional masonry. Mm. Okay, so I wanted something to fall back on. Mm-hmm. God forbid I was just like a laborer and like I started bricklaying and I got fired for whatever reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had schooling, so I know how to cut stone. I know how to cut block. I know how to carve stone. Mm. I did that for a long period in my life in Ottawa and uh, it was a horrible time in my life. I hated every moment of it. Every and day? Every single day. Yeah. Every single day I hated it, bro. School's not for me, bro. I hate school. I can never do school. And that's what relays onto the entrepreneurship where I was like, I can't go to school. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do something. Yeah. You know, and that like pushes me and like uh, um, you know, creates more ambition in me to, to do something my own. Yeah. Because um, at the end of the day you you gotta make the money. Yeah, no, correct. <laughs> and that, and like that's that's honestly the unfortunate part about this. This yeah. world is it makes money go uh it works, makes the world go round money yeah. makes the world go round which is uh, very unfortunate in my eyes yeah so yeah, w- what made you like open up uh this in grand bend bro because like i'm telling you right now mm. there's so many people walking out here bro, bro. Bro. Um, so um, it's popping bro i'm literally telling you it fell into the palm of my hands god bless the lord sweet baby jesus bro yeah it fell into the palm of my hands okay i had never thought about grand bend 
I had come to Grand Bend three, four, five times a year, you know what I mean? Chilled with my friends, Party come down bit. here, rent an Airbnb, you know, like like rent a cottage, whatever it is. Never in my life did I think I was going to be here. Never. For not even a second. Yeah. I didn't even think, like, it would be cool to have a business here. Yeah. No. It's I fuck. fell into the palm of my hands when I was working construction, and I was literally standing in my store in construction Jeez. boots and, and pants and and demolishing the place and yeah. everything. <laughs> and Kamal, God bless him, he literally oh asked me, God. you want it? Yeah, I want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And course. then we exchanged numbers. He's like, you don't have to say right now. You don't even know a price. You know what I mean? I don't care. I want it. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah. I'm taking regardless. I'm going to make it work. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I'm going to make it work. Fail or lose. or Sorry, fail or win. I'm going to make it work. What's going on? Was there someone that pushed you like really hard on the back end? Or was it just you? Not to sound pretentious or anything. N- no, to be honest. It's just me. Like, like I just... I just, um, I appreciate, like, you know, something that comes to me, mm. you know, and you, and you need to appreciate something that comes to you Absolutely. and an opportunity that is given to you. You need to take that and go with it. You need to do whatever you can to make make anything work out by any means necessary, you know? So uh, that's that was kind of my drive. It's just like, like, I can't lose up on this opportunity. Like I was speaking before, I can't come to Grand Bend and look at my store and say that could have been mine. I can't. Mm. I can't come back here and look at it. I need to do it myself. And if I failed, it's okay. I learned lessons, you know? I tried. I lost money. Whatever it was, I tried. On to the next one, okay? But I'm here year three, and I'm continuing to learn. I'm still learning right now. I'm still figuring it out. It's not all, like, once again, it's not all rainbows and flowers, man. This shit is, it's not, it's not, like, it's, it's a not a game. Yeah. No, it's not a game. Do you have any yeah. future plan? Yeah. Like, what's next? Like, right now before, we got. Before that, I was going to say, like, yo, like, how, how does, like, running this business affect you? You know what I mean? Because, like, I know, like, you know, like, like running a business is tough, bro. Getting those text messages at random fucking times like mean? you guys saw in you heard cheese, the money you're like yo <laughs> no but but like yo like like how does that play on like your mental bro like how do you deal with all that shit um I, i'm pretty good with my mental to be honest with you like you know sometimes i get anxiety i get yeah. anxious about all of this stuff i'm like, like fuck i have to do this i have to do that I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> right now, today, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I know I have to open. You have a club. I know I have orders to make. Yeah. I know I have this to do. But as far as, like, a pinpoint what I am doing tomorrow, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what time I'm showing up. I don't know what time the orders are going to be done. I don't know who's going to walk in my store and, and want 10 T-shirts. Yeah. Five T-shirts, one T-shirt. I don't know. I, do you I like that? I can't no? pinpoint that. Do you like it though? It. I love it. What do you love about it? I love it. What do you, what do you fucking love, love about it, bro? I love it. What do you fucking love about it? Is it the fact that like every day is a new day in a way? Yes, exactly. So it's like, it's like nothing is repetitive. I'm not, I'm not in back to like entrepreneurship and like not wanting a nine to five, not wanting to just, just succumb to the system. Uh, like I don't want to like go to work. Like, okay, you're clocked in. Okay, answer your emails. Okay, <laughs> take your phone calls. And once again, no diss to anyone that does yeah, that. Yeah, I no, commend yeah. you for that. Yeah. I commend you for that. If that's what you do, like, God bless you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I cannot do that. People are different in this world, and you need to mm. realize, you know, there's different people. I cannot do that. I can't even go to school, let alone answer emails and phones all day. Okay? So I love that because... You never know what's going to happen. Either it's good or bad. You know, you get a crazy order or someone steals something from your store. Did you have someone steal something? Yo, let me hear that. Let me hear that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's dive in that. Bro, I've had people (laughs) steal stuff from my store, but what happened? funny. Oh, my God. Please. Please, let's go in that. Okay, okay. okay. So what happened? Let me me lay the scene. (laughs) So someone walks in, correct? Yeah, but tell you this right now, okay? This shelf over here, you see the bucket hats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, last year... And, and I have more, okay? I had, like, NBA team book ads, okay? okay? So I had, like, Lakers, yeah. like this and that, okay? I had these Lakers bucket hats that were, like, floral. 
and they had like crazy designs over like you see this uh friends jersey right yeah, here yeah oh, that friend you see how it has like designs the FIFA on it one, right yeah the guitar one right yeah here. yeah yeah okay you see how it has like that kind of stuff yeah. on it it had that but like floral like tropical mm. designs on it i never seen nothing like that in my life i ain't never seen nothing no one rock or nothing like that but i liked it and i'm like yo i'm at the beach this is gonna sell yeah you know what i mean and the guy who hooks me up with all the jerseys, he's like, yo, he's like, I have this. I'm like, give me up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know it's going to sell. That's hot. Yeah. So I had two up there. Okay. And um, once again, like, it's no disrespect or anything. But the, you know what's funny? It was like uh, probably like eight of them. Mm. Okay. And it's a squad. Was, it's was a squad two, attack, eh? There was two, let me call chaperones, okay? Yeah. There were two elderly women, let me say like 50, yeah. 40, ah. 50, okay? Yeah. And the one guy, he was sweet talking to me, and God rest his soul, but he was telling me, yo, my homie passed away. I want to get uh, I want to get a shirt mm. with his face on it, you know what I mean? And then I want RIP, his name on the back. My apologies, I forget his name, but yeah. you know what I mean? He wanted R.I.P. on the back. He wanted his face on the front. Like, bro, my apologies. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that, but we'll do it for you. You know what I mean? I'm happy to do yeah. that kind of stuff. When customers come in, I'm happy to do that shit. You know what I mean? Because it yeah. makes them feel, bro, it makes me feel good. Yeah, yeah. Let alone what they feel. It makes me feel good. Yeah. I don't even know who they are. You 100%. Know what I mean? Regardless, bro, I make the order. Da, da, da. I'm, you, you see the press. You know what I mean? The press, I have mm. to face my back towards it. Trust me, I've tried to change everything You're in lying. my store. You're lying. They start jamming. Bro, I've tried to change everything in my store so my back isn't facing people while I'm making the shirts, okay? okay. Or mm. the employee or whatever, okay? It doesn't work out. Trust me, I've I've, I've lifted that table too many times. Dogs, okay? mirrors, <laughs> mirrors. Mirrors will be your thing. Mirrors, bro. We're, we're here, but there's cameras. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The camera's <laughs> even better. That shit has playback, bro. Mirrors oh, don't have yeah. playback. <laughs> zoom in. Bro, I zoom, in, zoom in. It's recorded everything, <laughs> yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, whatever. This, this guy, he buys a sweater. Yeah. But all the other guys are just chilling. They're not doing nothing. Okay? Whatever. Boom. They buy it. They cut. I close my store up. I go to Chuck's. These guys are all at a like a table, mm. okay? And I sit down, I don't notice nothing. Just chilling. Looking at them, I'm like, those look like my hats. Damn. And I just get cheesed right away. I just get like super mad. Yeah. And like I was right. Because you know. I was right. But I didn't know I was right. Mm. It was just like snapped. But I pull out my fucking I'm scrolling to the cameras. I'm looking at this camera over here to see if they're still there. Mm. And they're not there. Yeah. And I'm 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 thinking like, you know, I'm, I'm nice guy. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm nice guy. I'm like, <laughs> nah, they didn't steal. Yeah. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go check my store to see if they're still there. Cause maybe my I swear on my life, you Inventory, can ask Yusuf, yeah. my roommate, God bless him, I love him. Yeah. Uh, you can <laughs> ask Yusuf. I was like, yo, I was like, I was like, I need to go check this for myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I need to go see myself that they actually stole my hats. Okay? Super light. The hats are 40 bucks or something. Yeah. They stole two of them. They're wearing <laughs> them on their head top in chucks. On the strip. I know how you Right were. after they stole them. Anyways, I go back to my store. They're not there. Okay? Start walking back. I'm cheesed. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> it's like, super bad. I'm like, they're gone. Like, like these are my hats. Yeah. Yeah. There is no other way in this world that they're not my hats. Yeah. And to be honest, other shit got stolen, but I didn't notice it. Um, totally. Because as as far as um, like um, like 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 inventory went, yeah. Yeah. everything and proof inventory, they're gone. I know they're gone. Mm -hmm. Proof on them, it's not there. You know what I mean? Mm. I can't have it. I can't have it blaming it right yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Regardless. I went there, I talked to their chaperones. They were just leaving as I was coming back. And then I like talked to them very respectfully. Excuse me, ma'am. Were you respectful? I was very respectful the whole time. And I will always be respectful to anybody mm -hmm. for that matter, no matter what we're talking about or what we're doing. Um, I was very respectful. They said, excuse me, ma'am. Um, I don't want to get OPP involved. 
And that's the last people I want to get involved is OPP. I don't want to get no police involved. I'll handle mm. it on my own matters. But, like, I need to tell her, excuse me, I don't want to get OPP involved. I want to handle it myself. Yeah. Okay? So, this is that. Look at my camera. I don't have the hats. Look at your 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 um, your head top. Whatever whatever yes. they whatever they were to them. You know what yeah. I mean? No disrespect. Whatever yeah. they were to them, I think they were foster kids. Or Man, something. I'm not gonna lie, you're yeah. way too nice, bro. My mama. I yeah, would never man, like, for nobody. Bro, I'm telling you, like even as a business owner, I heard you earlier. I'm not gonna lie, you're. Yeah, you're just way too nice, and I think it's kind of like, from. Th- a business owner, I think it's really hard to um, kind of accept what you will be, right? In the end, if you're rude to people, that's kind of your image. Yeah. Like but at the end of the day, you can't. S- you have to step on people. Sometimes. Bro, I will never change who I am for anyone. Never. Yeah. No, I don't care how much you disrespect me, how much you abuse me, how much you leech off me. I'm the same guy. I will just change my um, energy. Yeah, you, towards you know what I mean. Like I would just show less energy or anything. I'm still gonna keep the the same respect or or image that I have, that I was taught, that I learned, that I perceive till this day. I'll never change for no one, and that's honestly like a fault that I have. As both you guys probably, you know, you you think about faults that you have, think about um, uh, good aspects that you have about mm. yourself, where you need to improve, where you need to change. You know what I mean? Something like that is. Um, like me being way too nice to people. Yo, yeah. I, you talked a, a lot about like religion. You like through this whole conversation. Like, how important is that to you? Because like you said, like you know, like you said a lot of things so far. <laughs> to be honest with myself, it's it's a. It's, it is a big part, of my life. To be honest, but another thing that I will say, and I'm not shy to say, is I don't pray, I don't go to church, but. My avo, my grandma, prays the rosary every single day. God knows how many times a day. Mm. You know what I mean? Is very religious, goes to church every day. Mm. Does everything that you're supposed to do as a Christian Catholic, yeah. okay? Yeah. As a lot of Portuguese people do. Yeah. Um, and she does that, so it just kind of relays on over to me. So do you I, feel like that's like important though? Like It is very important to me, and this is what I was trying to explain further. So... Me, I, uh, I hope and pray to God. Once again, like you've been saying, yeah. I hope and pray to God. Once, uh, one day, I'm able to have a wife, a family, yeah. kids. I'm happy. That's what I strive for. Mm. That's what my definition of success is. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Success is in money. Yeah, hundred percent. My definition is different. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I had people that came into my life and like friends, and they're like, they're like, oh, I have a wife for you. But she's Muslim. And literally 90% of my friends are Muslim. Yeah. And I love Muslim people and I respect the religion. Everything about that I super yeah. respect. Yeah. But on my Avos side, I could never do it. I yeah. can never change. I can never convert over to a different religion just because of my family. Mm. And also, I wouldn't do it just to find a wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's exactly. that's not what you're supposed to do yeah. it for. You're supposed to do it because you actually believe in that. Yeah. And you actually like like want to convert your life into something else. Yeah. It's crazy yeah. how your grandma had that, that influence on you though. To keep those like morals and bro, those values. My, my avo bro, my avo is a gangster, okay? She's ninety seven. <laughs> Damn, what bro, the? my avo's ninety seven, going on ninety eight, okay? She still walks. She still talks. She still cooks. <laughs> she still gardens. She's a problem. Yo, she, bro, don't That's get shit twisted. There's no walker involved. Yeah. There's nothing, okay? Man, I fucking love that. My, my yeah. avo, yeah. back in the islands in the Azores. Yeah. Cool. Azores. Where my, Azores. Bro, Azores. Bro, Portuguese. Bro, bro, where my family grew Jeez. up in a little volcanic hut, okay? Yeah. Bro, she she escaped uh, uh, volcanoes. You know what I mean. She fled the island when the volcanoes erupted. She went back, built her own family. You know, and came back. Um, That's wild. To where my family resided in, uh, and went to Montreal for a little bit, and then Strathroy. Wow. Bro. Where all the pork chops are, Strathroy. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, I love it. Bro. I love that you say that because even to my grandma, eighty-five on uh, the eleventh. 
gangster. Have you been God back bless, to Portugal? Man. God bless. Sorry? Have you been back to Portugal? Oh, yeah. I've been a lot. I've been a lot. I When's the last time you went to Portugal? You got ditched, though, time, eh? To be honest, I, I, mean, I got ditched. But <laughs> my family, I just dropped my family off. They went to do the uh, Camino. Oh, on the main uh, on the mainland. I'm from the islands. They went to do the main uh, the mainland Camino. They walked 250k in Damn. about like two weeks. So they touched like different hostels and they just walked. They're leaving for a month. Mm. I dropped them off at the airport. Three of them, my mother, my aunt, and uh, one of my other distant relatives from yeah. California, just backpack. Damn. Both of them just had one backpack. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah, you might as well enjoy, enjoy the world, you know? You yeah, think dude. you could do it? Oh, I, dude, I'd love to. Dude, dude, honestly, it's a hard step. But if I could, if someone gave me, like, a dead set opportunity, yo, you're good to live here. You have a job. You're stable. You're happy. Yeah. You're gone. Dip. Bro, I'm leaving. So I yo, love you, you guys. Yo, wait, wait. yo I love no, you I guys, love but you. I'm leaving. <laughs> you guys aren't going to see me. No, you guys this are going to have to come to Portugal. This, this is your yeah, over here. Right? My life. Do you, like, where do you see yourself in five years? I feel like a man like you, like, yo, like I'm saying, you're so young. You're just getting started, bro. All this shit. You know, people look look from the outside. They're like, yo, Eric Bradley is so successful. But, like, the way I look at it is like, no. yo, he's just scratching the surface. Yo, you he's know just getting started. That. So, yeah. so, that's like, what is it for you, like, in, in like, five years, bro? Um, to be honest, like, literally, to be honest, I've never thought about that. You, you asking me this question has kind of shook me. I'm not gonna, <laughs> lie. I'm not gonna lie, because I, I haven't thought about it because of my life. Like, I literally live day to day, which I appreciate, but I'm not, um, not necessarily happy with. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, God bless you. Yeah. I, 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 I commend you for you of and your course, wife. Bro. Congratulations. I you appreciate know what I mean? That. Course, I bro. appreciate that, bro. And honestly, bro. I always but say, bro, I always like, say, that, bro. Like, I'm always here. To you know, there's no jealousy or envy or anything. Of bro. course, I strive for that. Yeah, I want that in my life. That, once again, I repeat, that is success to me. Yeah, I Having appreciate that. a happy that, bro. family and a wife, bro. That's what I want. I'll throw everything away for that. Yeah, I promise you. Because at the end of the day, it's like it's like the the wife I chose. Like, she's building me too. You know I mean, we're going, I, we're I have get this. So I have yet to meet her, but yeah. I know you're bro, good. Yo, you meet her probably next I, week. Yeah, I have yet to meet her, but, but, but if you if yeah, you course. chose her and she chose you, yeah. God bless. Both yeah, I appreciate of you guys. that, bro. Of course, man. No, it's real, bro. Like, 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 yeah, it's important, bro. Like, at the end of the day, like, like a woman in your life who cares about you, who cares about you, like for real oh though, God. is very fucking cry. important, bro. Is very fucking important. That is that to me. To me, that's necessary. Yeah. In life, that is that is not an option. Well, that is yeah. not yes or no. It's like necessary. It's necessary. It's a yes, but also at the same time, you can't force something like that. Yeah. You can't even go looking for something like that. You know what I mean? Something like that. Like I heard your story. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You heard Claudia. It's, Claudius, it's eh? something that, like, in essence, when you actually think about it, it it happened. Yeah. You you were meant to be in the same classroom. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, literally. You know literally, what I mean? Literally, like, there's there's nothing that like yeah. you you tried to do to get yeah. in the same classroom as her. And then like, like I know, said, like steps I, le led up to you spoke a lot about God, there. but it's like sometimes God puts the shit right in front that's of your face. That's what I mean. That's what and, I mean. And if you're not bro. if you're not gonna go pick it up, then that's your last. That's what I mean. Okay, so if my avo is like that, and that's everything I grew up on, and when I was a kid. I sleep at my avos house and yeah. she makes me and my brother sleep beside each other <laughs> yeah, and yeah, pray every best. single time yeah. and we go to church. When it's I was a best. kid, I went to church all the time. Yeah, yeah. I prayed all the time and Portuguese, you know what I mean? Like it yeah. was like there when I go home, back home to Portugal when I was a kid, every single day we're going to church, we're praying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything. So like, like w when, s when something like that happens, like who is it? What, who else is it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I kind of relay that over onto, onto God. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I praise him or whoever is doing that for me. Yeah. And with like the blessings that I've attained today. And, and I, I, I really man, he was only everything. what? Like 24, 25, 25? 
Sorry, right now? How old are you? 25. 25. 25. Look at this Turning 26. Look at this place I'm right here. Getting, Grand I'm Bend. Old, one, one of the most I'm hottest places old. in fucking southwestern Ontario, though. Honestly, the best fucking beach in southwestern Ontario, Grand Bend, in 25. And look, look at this place, bro. Moving to, what were we talking about? Look though? at this fucking place, bro. <laughs> so, man. No, no, but sometimes Nah, I, man Like, no, ask yourself no, Listen I, Yo, I we, talk, I we talked I earlier I know I Sometimes you said like Sometimes that, you, you said you, I mean? you don't believe it, though You know, sometimes I don't, bro So, 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 so what, This is man? why I don't I, like Bro, I don't I don't like people Hyping me up I hate Why not? Them. Can I ask this, like, on the real Like, what is it? Like, do you not believe honest, in yourself? Do you not believe in yourself? No, or bro, even, I believe in myself Or is it I know what time it is Is it the fact that it's real? It's real. It's happening right in front bro, of you. it doesn't feel real. That's it's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Remember That's I the told problem. It doesn't feel real. When I open my store and, uh. Uh, let's say, a customer comes in, I start chatting them up. I start telling them what time it is. They want a shirt. How would you come up with that? Is this your business? It feels weird to say, yeah. Yeah. Or, like, my family members or, like, an acquaintance that I've had. Yo, what are you saying now? Yo, what are you doing? If I go to the bars or whatever, yo, what are you doing? What do I say to them? Yeah. I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> it feels weird almost for me to say. You don't say, believe it? I don't believe it. Why not? Or Still to it? this day, I don't believe what it. What is it though? Like, cause like, it's like, like privilege, bro. No, because like, like, what am I doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, like, you give I, opportunities I've, though. I know, like, but, but that's what I'm saying is like, that's what majority of people, they don't understand is you can do something for yourself and nobody can say anything otherwise. You can mm. do it. Nobody is stopping you other than you. If you want to start anything, any business in the whole entire world, whether it's successful, whether it's a good idea, whether it's a horrible idea, whether it's not successful, nobody is stopping you. Nobody. Unless it's illegal. But no, on some real shit, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, nobody's stopping you other yeah. than you. And I tell that to everyone, especially like, bro, I love you, Johnny. I love you, Johnny. 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 I love you, Johnny. Johnny, I love Man, you. Man, like Johnny. So I boy. love you, Johnny. Wherever you are right now, I love you. That guy is a genius, okay? So when, when shit gets, when shit was hard, you know what I mean? I'm linking this guy. He's linking me in his bed at four in the morning. I'm in my bed at four in the morning. I'm on the call with him. I'm on the text with him. That's what I'm telling him. That's what he's telling me. I said, bro, nobody's stopping us from doing whatever, whatever the, the heck we want to do you know what i mean we can yeah. do it and god bless him look at him now bro. yeah Yo, me too. Look how, him how he's how he's flourishing how yeah, important right. is it to have god people? bless him bro i am so happy and right, i told am you earlier. thankful to be one of his groomsmen god bless johnny bro. i told you earlier and I'm, his family yeah. and how, his how wife. important is it to have people like that like close to you because like i love yo, that I, I know sometimes friends can lead you in the wrong direction or the right one yep 100 percent. So. and i've gone both ways you know what yeah. I mean? I've had friends that have brought me in the wrong direction, and God bless them. I still love them. You know mm. what I mean? That's their personality. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? You just need to surround yourself with people more often than not often. Yeah. If you know what I mean? You know what I mean? If, like, yeah. if they're toxic, if they're toxic why, go. why, why you know, spend more time with them? Yeah, like like just like like-minded individuals. You know what I mean? Mm. Like just talking to someone and like having a genuine conversation with them and like talking for hours and hours and hours and you're literally just just like this. Yeah. You're you're chilling, you're kicking on the couch, you're talking about some next moves or you're talking about anything random. You know what I mean? You can just like vibe with them, you can talk about mm. stuff with them. Other people is just like, yo, like, what are we saying today? Yeah. You want to go to the, <laughs> Bro, you want to go to the bar? <laughs> you want to pop a bottle? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's I like fun. having fun. Okay. Yeah. You it's know what boring, I mean? Though. I like having fun. And those guys that I that I chill with, that I pop out with, I still love them. Yeah. <laughs> but the other guys on the other side, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't want to name names, but already yeah, like Johnny. Johnny has that mindset. Mm. Johnny has that mentality. He has that drive. He has that ambition. And especially because he has a wife and two kids he needs to feed for. You know what I mean? I'm by myself. I need to feed for my my mother, who still works, unfortunately. Don't deny you have the dog in you, bro. You have the dog, dog in you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a dog that I need to feed. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Yo, where does that dog come from, bro? I, I, like, I can't pinpoint it anywhere. 
other than going back, I know I keep saying this, but my mother, you know what I mean? She's just always, like, been one of those moms and, like, how I've kind of envisioned, like, like uh, raising my kids, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys thought about that before, you know what I mean? Like, en- envisioning, like, how you're going to raise your kids. This guy's the biggest love of the world. Especially you. If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> especially yeah, you. Know. You've especially thought about you, that. bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. Yeah. But if you don't mind me asking, like, 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 where was your father throughout the process? He was nowhere. He was nowhere, and I, I'm I'm comfortable with talking about that yeah. with with anyone. You know what I mean? Anyone who asks, they get the answer to. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly, like only my close friends have like uh, I don't know, like an understanding about it. Like gained me, up bro. the courage to ask, I yeah. guess. But like you know, I never talk about it. If you ask, I'll tell you. Um, rest in peace. Um, rest in peace, my my, and I mean this in the most respectful way. Rest in peace, my father, who is not my father, um, because he didn't raise me. That's not what a father does. Rest in peace, my father. He passed away about a month ago. Mm. Really, a month ago. Yeah, about a month ago. And and Coco was linking me, and he was like, "Yo, come on the podcast." I told him to be honest, but I'm I'm not ready. Like I was dealing with a lot of. Uh, I didn't even um, know that, bro. Questions. Like, wow, it's my boy. T- bro, I'm sorry it's okay. That, no, no, it's good, bro. I swear my life, it's good. And, like, like a weird thing about it, and I don't know if it's bad or good. I haven't cried. Do you, did it take time to it deal with? It has affected me. I'm still dealing with it. Because even, too, like, there's something we can share personally. Like, I never had my dad there. And, like, I still think, like, what could it do? Bro, I don't I, think I don't I, think it could do a lot because, like... Bro, I'm still dealing with it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still always making scenarios in different situations. Yeah. That I, I, I would, like, what if, what if that would have been? Yeah. But when, I, when my childhood was going on and, like, I was a kid, I, um, I had the opportunity to, like, make amends with him and me and my brother. Obviously, like, a whole bunch of, like, court shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, obviously, like, divorce and, like, um, you know, with like the kids and like, yeah. uh, it was just, just was whole headaches. It's just, it was very, uh, to be honest, I was so young. Like, okay, this is, this is my perception of my childhood. Okay. Mm. My father. Okay. Got me whatever I wanted. Okay. And I was happy. And my mother didn't. Okay. And my mother, no, not my mother, but my mother would mm. feed me healthy food. You know what I mean? She would take me to school and she would pick me up from school and she would not let me do this and she would not let me watch that and she would not let me say this. But my father would let me do everything. So it was cool to me back in the day. You know what I mean? But continually growing up and seeing him less and growing up more and becoming more conscious, uh, becoming more conscious as like to what society is and like how to be a man how to be a like a genuine human being it's all clicking together like simultaneously Way quicker, even too like with your mom even too like that's one thing i share well, with that's you why I say you spend a lot of time with your mom a gangster, bro. Yeah, yeah literally i am who i am because of my yeah. mother no one else and yeah. i would never change anything and i say that too like i'm not gonna lie this tr- i'm not gonna lie women i'm gonna put them up here they can do everything Women are superior to anybody no, in the world. Like, Listen it, to my it, voice right now. Women are superior to anyone in this whole entire world, okay? They can do anything. They can raise a man. They can raise a woman. And it's it's shown onto you and I and everybody. God even too, though. Look at people. this guy. Like, even too. That's the best part. Man, I said, look at this guy. Not even this, no. <laughs> but this is one thing I say, like, this is, like, re- realistically. Me and you come from, like, a mom raised home. Look at uh, a family that came from mom and dad. That's why we're here. Like, it's such beautiful. It's and, so beautiful. And, and you know what's crazy? I amend you for that, okay? Because you have a gorgeous, proper wife that you have, <laughs> and, and you're happy, you know? You, I can tell you're genuinely happy. You, you wanted this. It's not out of uh, spite. It's not out of anything else yeah. other than you genuinely wanted to get married, mm. okay? People who have... Two family, uh, two like the mom and dad, huh. they've grew up in like that. Most of the time, they're cheaters. Yeah, they unfortunately do drugs. You mm-hmm. know, there's something like that because 
I don't know, they're not getting one side enough or they're not getting uh, they're not getting a mixture enough. Yeah. Whatever it is, it seems like everybody who has a one-sided family is more prone to never wanting that for themselves. Yeah, yeah. And I will never want that for myself, yeah. obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I, when I God bless if if I'm fortunate enough to to have that, that's not an option. Divorce and and what? Yeah, the first it's not, option. It's not an option. Nah. It's not a it's not a word yeah. that is out we'll of my vocabulary. Nah. That yeah. is out of the dictionary. I don't care. That is not an option, bro. Yeah, I'll I'm say this. Doing Brandon, it. I'm gonna fight through Brandon, whatever. Uh, it, it audio takes. man. He said this. You don't say, death. Death. What is it, Brandon? Death to us part. Till death do us part. Exactly. If you're not willing till to make, if you do us part. Till death yes. do us part. If you're not willing Correct. to make that, then don't do it. No. That's literally what he said to me. He's like, yep. if your partner or yourself, you're not willing to do that, then don't fucking do it. You know it's crazy yeah. too. That's what actually my mother taught me. I know that to a T. That's why I told you, till death do us part. Yeah. That's my mother. She taught me that. Yeah. And it speaks for itself. There's no explanation needed in that. Till death do us part. What else? What else is there to say? Faction. Nothing. Yo, blood I'm not gonna lie. Blood. That's a fucking good wrap up. That's right blood there. right there. Literally. Fuck, bro. I could keep talking for like four more hours with Me you too, guys. Bro. I miss you guys. Me too, bro. I miss you too, bro. <laughs> I miss you. Crazy, I've known you bro. since this big. Bro. That's crazy. I know Eric Bradley since like he was very young, bro. <laughs> But I always knew he was he was Sorry. different. Like, no, no, I knew it's bro. crazy like, too. He was you know moving. I knew he was Coca. different. Coca, you Talk too, to you too. But Rico, I always used to look up to you, bro. Yeah, I, I told you, you that. I, I told you that before. Yeah, you have. You I have. Before, yeah, you have. You I have. told you that before. You have. You have. But I actually used to look up to you, even in elementary school. That, you were that athlete. Yeah. You were that guy. Ah. <laughs> you were ah. him. I'm him. Yeah, 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 bro. Appreciate it, bro. No, no, you were him, bro, and, yeah. and like you're, you're two years, yeah, you're two years older than yeah, me, yeah. correct? Yeah. Yeah, you were two years older than me, so I look up to you yeah. in that sense. You know, you're, you're like a big bro in that sense. I appreciate you know I mean? it, bro. And we've always kept in touch like that, of course. And especially with you, Coca. You know what I mean? When we went to high school and everything as well. You know, I got closer with you, and once again, you know what I mean. It's as a big you know. bro image as well. I always used to look up yeah. to you guys. I swear on my life. Yeah. But it's you crazy. guys, it's and crazy. it's it's weird it's too. Crazy. I know what you're saying because we're here now. Yeah. Bro, we're here now. <laughs> Remember when we did one show? We're here now. We're right here. Grand Band Prime Real Estate. We're talking shit yeah, on your podcast. Shit. Bro, yeah, bro. <laughs> we're talking about you. Ricardo. Though. Ricardo. It's crazy. Nah, this nah, guy I said he didn't want to do it. And look at him now. No, but I'm telling you right now. This is not who I am, to be honest. You're so young. You're an entrepreneur. You're fucking genuine. I wish I was young, to no, be honest. No, no, you, you are young. No, you have everything ahead of you. <laughs> you're in Grand Bend, Prime Real Estate. You're owning your business. You're running your shit, bro. A lot of people are scared of this shit, bro. A lot of people are too pussy to, to fucking take that leap, bro. And a man like you, I, I from he young, it, bro, bro. From the second, like, I swear, the second, I, I know your brother, bro. I know your brother, bro. Yeah. I was cooling with John Bradley for a minute, bro. <laughs> yeah. And I knew Eric Bradley. I'm like, yo, this guy's different, bro. I, I knew for a long time. Like, this I guy, remember, this I remember guy's moving guys, different. I remember you guys would always, like, not bully me. But you guys would be, yo, it's Lil John's bro. Bro, yeah, I tell you. Like, yo, it's Lil John's bro. That's what I was knowing. Eric, guys, I'm I couldn't you. walk through the fourth, third floor basement. I couldn't walk through the basement, bro, without getting bullied. Yo, Lil John's bro, 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 bro. I get duff houses in the back of my head, bro. Yeah. All you guys. No, bro, bro not, uh, now you're onto some real shit, bro. Even to Straight up, bro. This is just the start, honestly. Exactly, exactly. exactly. And everyone is so You're scratching the surface, bro. I'm. I have. Like, God bless, I have so many ideas, man. And it's like one of those things where it's like, I need to do it or I'll never know. What are some ideas, yo? I'll give us one. We yeah, give one. us one, give yo. Us one. Give What's us next? one idea. Right now, we got okay. What What's I'm going the to, next thing? What I'm going to tell you is I'm not going to give you an idea, okay? <laughs> give me the I'm thing. going to tell you that the next one is based in Grand Ben. Perfect. Oh. Huh. I want to actually base a lot of stuff in Grand Bend as to like what you guys are saying. So like, none of you guys, all you guys, yeah. you're like, yo, I haven't been in Grand Bend in a minute. Yeah. You see what time it is now, bro. Like, I, yeah, last year, right after COVID, mm. okay? A bunch of very, very, very wealthy people. Oh. Italian, you need to put oh. your oh, Italian Italiano. shirt on. Italian. 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 You need to put the, the shirt on. For them. Sicilian. I need to get with that <laughs> real quick. And they're, they they came in here and they bought up everything. They yeah. ate up everything. They bought Coco's across the street. They bought the bend here. They own 
right across the street from my store, mm. there's the one uh, women's clothing store. Yeah. Right after that, right to that, to Willie's, the beach bar, Been they own everything. And another guy came in, another Greek guy, he bought up Colonial. Yeah. Renovated the whole thing, bought up Gables, more hotels onto that. I told you guys, Airbnb yeah. right beside my mm -hmm. thing, three floors up. My store getting demolished, three floors up, new retail at the bottom. Everybody's eating this stuff up and everybody's like continuing to, to build this stuff up. So I, I'm thinking this way. You so know what I mean? I, I'm thinking, I, I know what's going on. So like my next business is, is like, it's like, okay, I, I have one here. I know people here. I can bring people here. Why don't I start another business here? Why am I gonna go start no more? Why, what are you why am do? I gonna go start another book when I can start another chapter? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> You're a problem, yeah. bro. I told you from the start. <laughs> hey, but, though, that's wise though, because honestly, bro, like, you, you, like, to London, I feel like you're the plug to GB. Bro, yeah, this guy took us in regards everywhere. to business though. In regards to like real shit though. Like not no no plug in like a disrespectful way. Yeah. In regards to like let's fucking get shit My done. G, just in general. Remember when Maybe. he walked us down the strip? Couple shorties knocking at the door or what? <laughs> I'm assuming it's I got Yusuf, nobody, eh? okay? It is Yusuf. God bless you. I love Yusuf, you, Yusuf. Okay. <laughs> Habibi, yeah. you, you coming in? out or what? <laughs> you want to hop in? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Dubai. This is yeah. what he tells me. So, Let's cut, right. it. Let's cut it then. Yeah. But yeah, no. fuck. Anyways, regardless, uh, back to, back to that, bro. Like I see what Grand Band is doing. I see like uh, like the evolution. I guess you could say yeah. that is going to happen within the next five years to a yeah. decade. Okay, and it's where I want to be. Same with Yusuf. He has yeah. his business here. I live with him. Mm. He's doing well. God bless. I'm For me, what's crazy, bro, is you're God so bless. young and you and you see opportunity and you fucking go right after, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like you're so young and you like. Man, like good it's for you, eh? bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Bro. You're crushing it, bro. You guys as well. You're crushing the shit, bro. You guys as well, man. Thank nah, you. I really for real though, it. honestly, bro. Like, like, it, it's amazing to see, and honestly, I hope it inspires a lot of people. Cause like, at the end of the day, bro. Like, I, I would love that, honestly. That's bro, it. They will, especially your story. In this godforsaken world, bro, it, it's it's um it's almost not enough to mm. do the minimum. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's that's it's not enough to just have a job. Go, no, not go at all. above and beyond. Why not? Well, who, Eric, that's like why I, I said who's stopping you? What's Leave crazy, bro? I, 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 I hate to bring you. this up, but life is so short, bro. Bro, like, it is so short. My like uncle I just passed away on my birthday. My apologies. I'm on a car sorry accident. On a car accident. So then, day, bro, like if you're not living your life to your max potential, bro, you're bro, racing it. Like, it like, can happen. You're racing. You're racing it. Time. What are you doing, bro? Anything. Anything can happen at any time. And that's why you need to live your life to the most every single day at a time. Okay? So if you die tomorrow, you're still proud and you're grateful of what you did the day before. Facts. Okay? So I have this that I leave behind to God knows whoever. You know what I mean? Or even the way you perceive yourself. either Even the way you, you treat people. The way you talk to people. The way uh, your mannerism is. The way you order stuff from Tim Hortons. I swear on my life. Like, like it, in, in my opinion, it goes that deep. Hello, how are you doing today? How much does that cost you? Zero. I told you earlier. It's going good. Okay, how are you? Good, thank you. May I please have a uh, da, 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 da Thank you, I appreciate it. Have a good day. What does that I'm, cost you? I told you. Know, you back in the day what is like people like rolling up? No offense if you guys do that. I know you guys don't do that, but to the people that do, you roll up to Tim Warren's, hey, let me get a double, double. Da, da, da. I think Bro, you know how time. much, you know it will cost you zero to make someone's day. Fact, remember I what I told you earlier you. when we were talking? Like, the way you treat someone, that used to be us. Yeah. That used to be us. Okay. And, and, yo, back and in that's the day. why you guys appreciate me, and that's why I appreciate you. Yo. <laughs> Jeez, yo, you want to buy something? Let's Come in. <laughs> let's let's make some let's custom shirts. But, yo, okay. back in the day, back in the day, like, I remember, like, you know how you throw something to a garbage can, right? Yeah. If you miss, and, like, are you picking that? Back up, bro. You know it's crazy. Hey boys, hey I, boys. Remember, I remember my grandma would be like, "Yo, boys, like, look at me. I'm care? stepping out. I got a phone call. A big one. Sure, yeah. Do your thing, my yeah, G. Yeah, yeah. but, but Do my, your thing, my, my, my grandma would always say, my, my grandma would always say, she'd be like, "Yo, like, are you picking up the garbage when you, when you throw it out of the can? It's all about discipline. It's all about the details. Like, make sure you get that shit done as a man. You know it's crazy, bro. I actually hate littering. Yeah, I have like, I have like." 
very few like pet peeves, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but like w- one of my pet peeves is littering. Yeah. I find it like just like like disrespectful. And like I don't want to be rude to anyone, but it's just disgusting. Yeah. It, why throw that? Why? Shit? Why? Why? This is garbage. Leave can. it in your car. Yeah. Hold it in your hand for five minutes. Yeah. For, until you find the garbage. Who? Yeah. Who's telling you to throw it on the ground? And then what? Someone else has to pick it up? Or it just goes to shit? Literally. What is that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so disrespectful. I like I could go on. We can we can have another, another whole podcast on littering. <laughs> I hate it, bro. I have yeah. very few pet peeves. Littering is one of my like biggest. I hate yeah. that stuff, yeah. bro. It is. And it's not even like I'm like a eco-friendly like yeah sure save the planet no, whatever the fuck it is the i don't where you're at, bro. It respect it bro. bro just respect there's a garbage can fucking probably 100 meters away i don't care if it's 400 kilometers away just keep yeah. it in your whip or hold yeah. it sit up you know what i mean David. it doesn't matter that it's much you got something to say in the my guy's in here my guy's in here first off uh, your boy yusuf just like killed the man with the door <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it, it hit good? him pretty hard when he was what he was leaving right there they're good they're good they're good yeah Turn everyone's good nah, i'm playing i'm playing play, i'm playing okay, okay. they're good but like <laughs> the yeah. 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 i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> 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 facts but no nah, man eric it's uh i i love coming on these and like at the end of these episodes and like people that we've grown up with or been around a long time just to say like damn you've grown bro Thank like you, bro. you know what i mean as well like, man i appreciate well. that i've known you for a long that. time as well you know what i yeah. mean it's, it's like my brother used to play hockey with you and everything i still remember that and you were even telling me today you're like you used to come on the ice and play with us yeah, i don't bro. remember none of that <laughs> Actually, i ain't never bro. never come on the ice with none of you guys <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me i'll tell you no yeah. way it's you crazy know, man but, but yeah like good, seeing man. seeing like the growth and just like people going down these like non-traditional paths and like succeeding right at 25 young age right something you were talking about is that, like that imposter syndrome or not feeling like it's real right and like i feel that a lot myself too like i relate on that because it's a journey you know and every day is you, you may wake up in limbo but it's another step of the way you know it's, what i mean no i completely agree with you bro and i really appreciate that and thank yeah. you for that but uh, it, it's just like it's weird like you know what i mean like just relaying on to that topic it's like i wake up and it's like what am I doing? Mm-hmm. I'm going to open my store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Who told me I'm opening my store? Mm-hmm. Once again, who nobody, gave you permission to have a store? No. Right. One. Like that's what yeah. I gave myself. Exactly, man. And who did it? I did it. You know what I mean? And if you can do it, who's gonna stop you? No one's gonna stop mm-hmm. you. Oh, if yeah. you do it, you did it. You know what I mean? No one, uh, yeah, you might have help along the way. Like I have and God bless everyone. I praise and thank everyone who has helped me along the way on this journey because I did not do it by myself, okay? And that's one thing everybody needs to know. The way I made t-shirts, I learned from someone. The way I learned how to do construction to get me this place was this way. The way I learned how to do social media okay yeah was from someone okay and everything is lessons okay mm-hmm. you always need to relay that onto your journey mm-hmm. and everyone that is along the way i thank and i praise every single little bit of mm-hmm. those guys yes, bro, bro, you, you, you're really humble and like but the thing is at the end of the day is like you provide a lot of value to those I hope so. So no, I you do so. though. I hope P- so. People would not fuck with you if you didn't, bro. Mm-hmm. So like, what? I like, so, I guess what kind of value do you provide? Because at the end of the day, like I said, like you're super fucking humble, and I fucking love that. Because at the end of the day, like being humble makes you a nice guy. I feel like me personally, in all my 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 uh, businesses, uh, I'm that nice guy. But mm-hmm. nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, you gotta be the fucking good guy. But like, but what what value do you think you add? Because I feel like it's a fucking lot. No, I appreciate that, man. But honestly, like, anything that I can kind of, like, relate on to anybody is, like, I don't know, this might sound weird or cliche, but, like, like honestly, I promise you, money is not everything, okay? Everything that, like, has made me proud and happy in my life is not about money. It's about, like, creating something. You know what I mean? So I've, I've built this store. I've designed this store. Mm. I have customers that are happy. Sure, it it keeps me stable and it gets me money and it does things that 
helps me like, like whatever for example go on vacation or, mm -hmm. or 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 provide for whoever provide for myself yes it does that but at the end of the day it's 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 who i am as a person what i've created what i've like put on to other people you know what i mean like your mannerism and and talking to others and like like i said like just like 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 talking to someone with respect and making them smile it costs nothing dude it, <laughs> it literally costs up, nothing man. like and, and in the in the off season in like the winter i'm like a little bit more like chill you know like i don't talk as much maybe sometimes i put my head down when when i'm walking past someone you know my my social meter or my anxiety it goes up my social media goes down you know what i mean mm -hmm. and i love this about grand Band is because it brings everything out of me you know you guys saw i'm walking down the street i have to yeah, say hi what up. everybody hi, oh, everyone, i can't put my yeah. head down i have to say what up to everybody all the locals all the employees mm -hmm. i walk past them 10 times a day so i i know their faces they know my faces they buy stuff from me i buy stuff from them so like you know my social media goes up you know, like my confidence goes up even, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know how to talk better. I know how to like create conversations better. Like strangers walk into my store every 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yo, minute, how, how, did you five how did you deal with tough times, bro? Because in order for you to be as like- As far like, as what though? Okay, as in, far as what? In, in order for times. you to be th this confident, like, like, like Mint Apparel, bro. Look, look at this fucking beautiful store. Downtown Grand Thank Bend, you, bro. bro. I That's it. fucking prime fucking Thank time. You, I appreciate it. No, but, but like, I had to go through some rough shit. Like, how do you deal with that, bro? Like, just looking back at it, it doesn't, like, pinpoint anything on to me. Or, um, like, you know, like, it, it doesn't it doesn't get, like, one point necessary. You just grind I through just, it. I just learned it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I had to learn it. Every day you had to keep on going. I had to do it. Yeah. There's nothing else I can do other than learn it. If I don't learn it, then it fails. You know, so that goes along with like uh, trading my employees and, and how I teach them how to make sales and how I teach them how to talk to customers is I had to learn my own pitch. Was it tough getting employees under your belt? Oh, my God. Well, the first year, like I, like I told you guys before, grinding. Mm -hmm. Me and my mm. business partner, God bless him, bro. Me and him grinding all day, bro. <laughs> yeah, God grinding bless. all day. God the bless second him. year, I love you. I'll say her name. I love you, Janetta. Yeah. The best employee I've probably ever had. She okay. was so subtle. She was so calm, so collective. Learned everything like this. Like she's, bro, she was better at me than my own job, I promise you. Ah, she was yeah. better than me. That's she, what you want though, right? She was so cool, calm, collective with everything. And then unfortunately, I don't know what happened. I promise you, I treated her with the utmost respect. Yeah. I paid her properly. Like midway through July, she like called in for a shift and then she like never the came ne back the next shift she never came back <sighs> never messaged me never nothing no you're yeah. good in, you're but a good God employer bless her, bro. she did a lot for me but as far as everything else goes like that's that's what i relay onto my employees is like you know my pitch and then they put their own twist on it question yeah. what's your uh, most valuable skill out of an employee what do you look for um that's a good question that's a really good question. Um, I wouldn't even say that it's like someone who learns fast or is like super intelligent or even no someone going. that is um, sociable. Hmm. Like, for example, Janetta. I fucking love her. <laughs> Janetta, if you're listening to this, I love you. <laughs> I don't care that you she quit on me. I love she that hear girl. Bro, that girl is a gangster. Like, she is a very, very good employee. I don't know what happened. Uh, hope all is well. But Didn't you regardless, fire her? She was, sorry? Didn't you fire her? No, no, no. That's oh, Aline. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to say Aline's name in this. Aline, I love you. Aline, I love you, but you're fired. <laughs> Donald Aline, Trump it. Just, just, just a little backstory. Aline became my friend in the off season, so oh. I had to fire her. I can't have my friends as my employees, unfortunately. Yeah. Is it hard? Did you, like, Super hard, dude. And, like, actually, it's not hard, but it is hard. It depends on who it is. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, my my really close friend, Sirwan, mm -hmm. he's my employee right now. And I don't even like saying that. I don't like saying employee. And I always tell my employees, don't call me boss. I hate it, bro. 
I don't know why it just irks me. Like it like yeah, makes yeah. me That's cringe. Good though, bro. Them like, calling why, why, me boss. Yeah. I'm like, like what is uh, it though? Like you don't want that title over them? Yeah, I just don't like that. Like like we're all like one family. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we we can all like talk about everything together and like, bro, I, I let them pretty much make their own shifts. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you available, okay, book book book. Yo, when you available, book book book. Oh, okay, I have this day missing. Yo, I need you to work this day. Okay, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's just all, like, it's like a circle, like a family. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, like, I told them at the start, yo, I'm going to do this. But I also need to think in a business aspect of everything. Was it hard for you to outsource? As far as what? Like, like outsourcing, like, like your time here, bro. Like, like giving, like, other it people. It was, it was at the first, like, like I said, like, I had Janetta and Aline, okay? Uh. Janetta, I had to fire one guy, Okay. It wasn't that he was bad. It was just, it was like, um, I could tell he wasn't involved. He didn't care. Mm. He wanted to make money. He wanted to go to Wrong a shift. Wrong fit. Wrong fit. Wrong fit. I need somebody who's actually like Turn genuine. Soul. Who's fashion. genuine about fashion. the job. Like they actually like arts and crafts. Yeah. They like style. They like fashion. They like talking to random people. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you need to fight and find like a, a ran, like a, a pretty distinct person for yeah. the job and in Grand Bend for that matter. You know what I mean? So they either live in Grand Bend or they have to drive. And Janetta, I pay her every single way there and back. Wow. I, mean, I pay for her gas. I literally paid for her gas every single day there and back, and I pay them good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I told you, good boss. Yeah. <laughs> so then uh, last year it was just Aline, me, me and Aline at the end yeah. of the summer. I I don't want to talk about Aline, but I love her. <laughs> but I love her. She held it down as much as she could. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love her to death. Um, and then uh, you know this year, I was blessed with. Um, like a lot of good employees yeah <laughs> and that actually like genuinely care about my work so um willie's at the end of the year something happened with their insurance or something they shut down one of their workers came here steph i love you amazing employee okay yeah. so she was there from last year she knows what time it is and then steph brought erica erica i love you you're working today yeah, she worked 11 till 11 yesterday 11 till 11 she held it down okay and then sir one i have and then i got a new girl mackenzie i love you as well all my employees i love them i treat them as family it's all like a big happy family all of us are all of us are chilling all of us are good you know what i mean yeah. and, and i really appreciate that and i hope it continues throughout the summer yeah you know what i mean yeah sorry boys i got to step out sorry. do your thing guys do, do your, your thing, thing buddy oh. big Hoy says but yeah, man, I, I'm I'm really happy that like I'm able to kind of sit back and like yeah. relax and like trust the 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 women or men yeah. that are help holding down. This I, I, I read a book. It's called Who Not How. Yeah. You know, as entrepreneurs, we 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 always try to think like, how can we solve the problem? How can we do this? When you found the perfect amount of who's, I found yeah. You know what I mean? I found who can so, do it, so not how to do exactly. it. Exactly. I don't know how they do it. You, you don't know, have to. You know, I had a, I had a, when I dropped my family off at the airport, I had Sir one in, and I kept pressing him. I kept pressing him. I said, "Yo, are you, you sure you're okay to work by yourself?" Because I never left him by himself. Yeah. I never left him by himself. I said, "Yo, I need to take my family to the airport. Are you sure you're okay?" You know, it's like, hey, I'm good, I'm good, I'm yeah. good. My phone starts blinging. I'm driving to the airport. It goes cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, <laughs> cha ching. I'm I'm linking Sirwan. I'm like, yo, how? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm linking Sirwan. I'm like, yo, can you tell me what you're saying? Because yeah. apparently I'm doing something wrong. You know what I mean? Like, how are you selling so many T-shirts yeah. in one day? Yeah. And it was like a Thursday or something, so yeah. it's not even like a very busy day. Yeah. He's like, I don't know, man. He's like. Everyone's just loving the idea. They yeah. they just like bite on what I'm saying. And, and Sir Owen's a very personable person. You know what I mean? He can get along with with this or that or them. You know what I mean? Yeah, he yeah. can get along with everybody. Yeah. You know, so he was just he was talking his shit and he was getting it done. You know, I was super happy with that. Even Erica, like I said, she worked eleven to eleven yesterday. Yeah. I didn't tell her to stay open. She literally wanted to stay open because it was busy. She told me, Can I stay open? You know what I mean? Why you close at this time? Crazy. She gets still busy. 
Crazy. I say, yo, stay open till this time. I said, I told her, stay open till nine. Yeah. Okay? Stayed open till 11, just on her ones, because it, people continuously were walking yeah. in the strip. As you see, people are still walking down They're the strip. They're still fucking out time. here walking, bro. bro. People... They, they drink, they get intoxicated. If something's open, they're walking in. It doesn't yeah. matter. And if you give that... that, that uh, Energy. The energy, yeah. But if you, like, uh, you know, if you if you talk game to them... Yeah, yeah. You get, you get your, your, your whatever I do out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I tell them what I do. I get my line out, then they'll bite on it right away. Yo, when did you realize, like, yo, like, I'm not trying to break the regular nine to five? I, I don't know. To be honest, like it's always been like that. Like my first career, my first thought process as into starting my life was masonry, like mm-hmm. I said at the yeah. start. But that always led into making my own masonry company. Yeah. I don't know what it is, to be honest, because yeah. like I guess like my aunt and and had my aunt and my uncle had the but it's own. naturally inside you it's in it in you. I just, uh, it's yeah, just naturally yeah. inside I just, you i don't know specifically if it's if it's this or that i just kind of think it was it was just inside me yeah weirdly yeah. enough to say you yeah. know what i mean it was yeah. just there no i get that 100 yeah. percent. but where the hell's coca bro <laughs> this guy what about you Honestly, bro. What like, about you? I want to hear about you. Yo, I don't like talking about a me. A man like you. me, honestly, bro. Like, like it's it's been a change, bro. Like, you know, I just got married a couple of weeks ago. God bless, man. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. I God really bless, appreciate God that, bro. Bless. Just got, got married a couple. On yeah, you know, one, two, blink before the You're camera. Official now. <laughs> official now, but like, yo, it's like it's like the biggest blessing, bro. Like, um, I, I'm happy amazing. that my wife is like she she's like into real estate as well. You know, my wife like every vision I pitch to her, every like kind of goal. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Everything that. you perceived as your wife to be, she Literally. is that. Literally, bro. And that's why you yeah. wife her. Yeah, exactly. And God bless her. And, you know, a man like me was, was uh, like, I would go to church, but I would also go to chapels, bro. Yeah. Chapel is a, a small little area where you pray the rosary, and I just kind of, like, wish for that. Yeah. So when you, when you push it, yo, you know, you, you, you know your grandma, yo, you know that shit is, is like, ingrained. Because you talk about God a lot in this episode, bro. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's one of those where it's, like, double down on that i i do i do believe in a lot in that and like like maybe i do need to like actually go to church and start praying more and everything but i do believe on that i, I have tattoos yeah that are religious yeah. you know what i mean like exactly. it, it's, that's, yeah. that's on my body forever yeah okay and that's yeah. what i grew up with that's what i've learned to this day like i said like when I was a kid, like I, I had to go to church. I had yeah. to pray before I go yeah. to sleep, before meals, everything like yeah. that. You know what I mean? So it's just relayed on to me on like like my like. The way I look at it is, is, is like yo, if you're aiming to be the best man that you can be, like like you're not gonna fail. Like yeah, you know no, what I mean, dude, you're hundred percent right. And like the way I treat people and the way I talk to people, it literally relays a lot onto like per se the ten commandments yeah. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's always like respect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everything do onto others as you would be you would be want done Basic onto. fucking information, eh? You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't steal each other's wife. Don't steal. Don't yeah. cheat like don't murder. <laughs> Like, it's like basic nece- necessities, <laughs> but it seems like this world is so lost and gone that, that yeah. people, people they don't get it or they don't yeah. understand it or God knows what's going on. Yeah. But uh, it, it seems kind of kind of like, like elementary to me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Brother, like that's, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do as a human being. So yeah. I'm going to do that to everyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I'm going to live my life. That's how I'm going to treat everybody that I walk past. And yeah. even like the girls at Willie's. I love ev- all the, the girls, girls at Willie's. I love, I love all it. the girls at Willie's. I make all their, their uniforms and everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank V for that. I love him. He made me uh, make all their uniforms for yeah, them. Yeah, that's dope. All, all that's the dope. new girls that come in, they get uniformed. It all has the mint on it. I love it. It makes me happy. Yeah. And and the, the people that go into the bar, I bought stamps. So you stamp hey, it on their hand, it says mint. Every single person Jeez. in the bar at Willie's has mint. Okay, but anyways, uh, like they're like, when I order a drink or something, hey, how are you doing? It's the same thing like I said at Timmy's. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Good, how are you? May I please have a da 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 da. Like, why are you so nice? Yeah. Who raised you? And I'm like, uh, a proper woman raised me. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is how everyone's supposed to be raised, I think. I hope. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it just relays on to that. And, like, uh, I hope, like, everybody is, uh, you know, everybody everybody realizes that. It's, yeah. it's so minuscule and it's so easy to be nice to people. Like, yeah. everyone who has hatred and, and dread to others, it's it's so pointless. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it I, is. I can't remember the last time I got angry. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I got angry at anyone for that matter. You know straight what I mean? It's just like up. your life goes on. You, you deal. You live and you learn. Everything just keeps... Everything just keeps going. Time doesn't stop for anyone. Nobody. It doesn't matter. It's like, like, like you know, I, I apologize about what happened to you. And same with me. Bro, time goes on. It's yeah. not stopping for no yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, you got to deal with it. You got to do what you yeah, got to do. Yeah, do it. Just and as a man, like, like you know more than ever, bro. Like, like, you're younger than I am, and you fucking own, like, the, this beautiful mint apparel Thank out here you, in Grand Bam, bro. Appreciate it. Like, you're out here hustling, bro, and, like, at the end of the day, like, like all I got to say, bro, is, like, keep on crushing it. We're going to have you back in the pod Thank soon. You, appreciate it. Because I know this is, I, you just scratch your surface. It, man. A man like bro, you just, like, I he's like, so hello, <laughs> I'm here. Like, you, you know what I mean, though, bro? And honestly, brother, like, you you're an inspiration, bro. You're, you guys you're for, a fucking inspiration, I've been talking brother. to you guys for six hours yeah, yeah. off camera, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean? <laughs> we've been on for a minute, but, like, honestly. You didn't even eat your food because I was I talking to you. I didn't eat my food, bro. You had cold food because I was talking to you for so long. This doesn't fucking matter, though. At the end of the day, bro, like, honestly, we'll conclude here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, bro. And, like, we'll have you back on here, bro. And, like, honestly, Mint Apparel. Make sure you visit Thank Grand you Bend, guys. the hottest spot here, bro. Like, look, Appreciate like, that. Come look down to Grand shit, Bend. Yo. Look at all this you shit, You get whatever yo. your heart desires, Honestly. okay? Any picture, yeah. any image, any picture you've taken on your phone, you send it over to us. Pick your style, size, color. We print it right on the spot. It takes about 10, 15 minutes. As far as that goes, we can do the let's talk. We can do vinyl. <laughs> we can do numbers, letters, wordes, quotes, anything of those colors over there. Exactly. Got Show the colors. Show the colors. We got thousands, Show the colors. Of, got thousands of different fonts you can choose Straight from. Up. Anything your heart desires, we do it here at Mint Straight Apparel, up. okay? Yeah. And we you got that, that. bro. And like, this is only episode one. Episode two is like, <laughs> we, we, we gotta come back here, bro. I'm telling you right now, brother. Like, back. yo, you're an inspiration, bro. And honestly, you're Thank fucking you crushing it, you, bro. Thank you so you're much. fucking really crushing it, bro. appreciate it, bro. Thank you for having me. I of really course, appreciate yo. it. It's been a long time coming. Of course. I know we've been trying to do this for a long time, yeah, yeah. but, bro, we're here. It's only part one, bro. Part two is coming up now. Right, bro, there's, <laughs> there's more than enough. Take care, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it.